Riverwood, 60 FPS. Riften, 60 FPS. In this video I will show you how to fix the SSE fixes for game version 1.5.16 with Visual Studio. So, have fun! First Google Visual Studio Community and go here. Download this. You will get this file. Run it. The installer will run. I have it already installed, but I will rerun the installer for you to show you what to choose. So, once you run the installer, uh, you choose community. And then you need to choose the correct uh, workload. You choose this one, desktop development with C++. Then choose the location you're going to install. This can be a custom location as this will be 5.5 gigabytes of data. So I've chosen my separate drive G and uh, tell, told it to install to Progi Gry Visual Studio Community folder. Then you can click next. The installation will take some time because it's going to download all the remaining data, which is huge. So it, depending on your internet connection, it will take a shorter or a longer time. After the installation, it might require you to restart your computer. Do it. Then you need the SSE fixes source code. So open the mods page, go to files and take SSE fixes the newest version v3 source and download it manually to our location that you will understand. I have it here and now I make a new folder for video demonstration. All right, I'm downloading it here. Once it's downloaded, I'm opening this folder, show in folder, right click on it and extract the files. There we go. Now here I have my files. I am using these instructions by Tunstral from the SSE fixes mod page forum. His instructions are under the instructions of Ayers, who actually uh, has decompilated the game and uh, found all these offsets that need to be edited. But we come to it in a while. Let's go back to the instructions. So after we downloaded and extracted the sources, we can run our freshly installed Visual Studio 2017. and open project navigate to your extracted sources and open FPS fix plugin VCX Proch this will inform you about the platform tool set I just clicked OK When the file is open, go to Edit, Find and Replace, Replace in Files. Now I will arrange my windows. I will scroll up to the instructions, to the offsets, and I will also resize the Visual Studio window so that I can show you one by one. So here are the instructions from, from ours and we need to change all of them. Copy the first offset 
paste it here and as replacer put in the one from the right hand side here make sure that you have look in entire solution selected and keep modified files after replace all very important so once you have made sure you have this selected and this selected and you have the old offset from the left and the new offset from the right you can click replace all this will tell you how many occurrences it found and that it replaced it click OK. Next one. Copy, paste, replace to, copy, paste, replace all. Next one. Copy, paste, replace to, copy, paste, replace all. Next one. Copy, paste, Copy, paste, replace all. Copy, paste, copy, paste, replace all. Copy, paste, copy, paste, replace all. Copy, paste, copy, paste, replace all and so on I will do them all for you for documentary reasons purposes Sometimes I'm double checking if I have the correct data in the replacer fields. Yes, yeah, 6E60, six e, six replace all. And copy and paste, and copy and paste, and replace all. And copy and paste, and copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste replace all and copy and paste and copy and paste replace all four occurrences this time and next one copy and paste and copy and paste sometimes I double check if I have my data correct here replace all five occurrences replaced copy and paste ah a space don't allow a space here and copy and paste 5C30 to 70EO replace and copy and uh, paste and copy and paste replace and copy and paste and copy and paste replace and also this one here I hope I always click to replace all and not just replace because otherwise it will be wrong okay it's all done now let's close this window 
and go back to the instructions. Now we have uh, this stuff here, debug and x86. We change debug to release and we change 86 to 60x64. Now we want to go build and build solution. And if the output is build, one succeeded, zero failed, zero up to date, zero skipped, that means it's correct. If you have other result here, then you did something wrong and you need to do it again more slowly and take more caution. But this what I got here, this is correct. Now the DLL file should be in the directory where we extracted mm, the sources previously. Now it also contains uh, two new folder. One is a hidden one, you don't necessarily need to see it, but the other one is x64. And inside we have another folder release, and inside we have the file that we need, the DLL file. So now this DLL file is the edited file, the, the updated file and we can close Visual Studio you you might want to save it but uh, don't necessarily need to as you already got the result and I suggest if something is wrong then just do it from scratch so I don't need to save that file so now let's go ahead and download the mod itself and I will show you um, how I will swap this new file in so i'm going to sse fixes files and here is version 3 download manually and i will tell it to download it to the sse source video demo directory yep the file will be sse fixes v3 let's download it here so if you are using 7-zip, which I strongly recommend, you can just open the archive of the mod, the v3 version, the standard mod, with the DLL that doesn't work anymore. Inside we have DLL plugins. Here's the DLL, the original one from the 5th of October. And here in my... Um, SSE fixes x64 release where I showed you is our new edited DLL and I can take this DLL and drag it to the archive and it says are you sure you want to copy the files to the archive I say yes and now the file was changed as you can see the date is now today 29th November and this file, I will reopen it to uh, show you again. It has today's date now. It's the FPS fix plugin DLL that we uh, got, that we compiled ourselves in uh, Visual Studio. So now this file here, I will change its name to custom and now the game version 1516 fixed zip and this is now the mod and uh, you can install it with your mod manager and that's it I tested it it works my FPS are back so I hope this was uh, useful for you Thank you for watching, check the video description for further links, further materials uh, for my uh, Skyrim uh, special edition guide and uh, if you need any help drop a comment here or on the Tuko guide uh, posts section and have fun!